Hey guys, welcome to my February favorites video. We're gonna be talking about both makeup, skincare. I even have a fashion item to show you guys. Um, like I said, I used to come out with come up with like a long list of favorites, but I'm gonna just be sticking to just the top, absolute top favorites that I like reach all the time the past month. So this is gonna be a short list. I think I only have like five. And uh, like I said, like a fashion item. So they're only like, and there's one skincare item and oh actually it's one skincare one hair care and two makeup and then a fashion so let's get right into it if you like these kinds of videos definitely consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already if you haven't what is going on subscribe already <laughs> and also hit the super thanks if you really 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 love this video and so let's get right into it guys so the first and foremost is this tinted a very oh hang on is this gloss all over my face gosh okay <laughs> now that's out of the my face so let's get into it so this is the neutrogena's mineral pure screen mineral uv tint face liquid with vitamin e this is a tinted sunscreen and i'm very happy that neutrogena has come out with different shades of sunscreen and uh, I have I have the shade in deep uh, this is SPF 30 UVA and UVB protection so I love it because it has 100% mineral sunscreen has titanium and zinc um, and it has a really really good tint not ashy obviously and they come on they come in four shades that's deep really 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 lightweight i wouldn't ca call this like serum but uh consistency it's not very runny or anything but it's more like a moisturizer it's definitely more of um emulsion kind of a consistency it's definitely a moisturizer lightweight moisturizer kind of consistency so i really like that look at that it just disappeared and you can absolutely put this and it does not have a shiny finish at all look at that it's like a very matte like a good well moisturized skin finish it is an amazing product do not sleep on this this is quite affordable i don't remember how much i paid for it it's quite affordable i got mine on amazon it's a really 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 good product very affordable and an easy peasy put this on your face and out you go so i will leave the link down below where i demonstrate this on my face and you can see what this looks like as well live well not like not live obviously what am i say but you can see in like in real time like as i put it on my face so yep that's definitely an, a must i would say um and a, a favorite so let's talk about a uh, hair product this is verb by the brand verb and this is, it says extra hydration glossy shine plus heat protectant is that the name oh i'm just like for the first time actually reading the name because i just got it as a sample from sephora and i just like used it so i'm just like seeing so this is a one fluid ounce uh, 30 milliliters so i i think i would have used this for five or six times uh and i have to say it really makes the hair fresh and it kind of gives you i know it it does and definitely shiny for sure it kind of leaves your hair fresh and shiny and kind of like nice and airy it doesn't like make your hair feel heavy and kind of like i don't know it doesn't weigh you down you know i really like this product because it does have a glossy shine and it's a heat protectant all in all i really liked it i was quite impressed with the way my hair turned i don't have i, I didn't use it like yesterday uh yesterday was like hair wash day and i didn't use this because i'm completely run out but i definitely planning on getting a full size after using the sample because i really like it like i said it kind of gives that shine to your hair and kind of makes it airy and nice and fresh looking to be honest i i i, I was quite impressed i because i usually don't like do an elaborate hair procedure or like a regimen i just stick to my this is something i've done literally since i was born this is more of a cultural thing oil my hair coconut oil uh, the night before i wash my hair and just wash it and conditioner and that is it i don't do much i really don't like heat style my hair all that much this is just like 
wash my hair and dry it and that's it that's probably why you see my hair always messy and not like beautifully styled and a lot of curls or anything like that this is just like shampoo conditioner that is it no more i really like that it also controls frizz and all in all it's a really good i, I think it's a very well-rounded like an all-rounder spray hairspray i really like that so let's talk about a color combination that i've been loving which is pink and green this is what i've been wearing today as well and an eye look that I um, did for Valentine's Day. I will leave that link down below as well if you want to take a look at that eye look. I thought it was very grungy, but at the same time, a very soft kind of romantic look as well. I, I called it like grungy pink look for Valentine's Day. I will leave that link down below. But I was really impressed with these two shades from Terra Moons. These are the ones that I used for that Valentine's Day. For this look, I will just like... I'll just swatch it. It's right here. So this is in the shade Vela. This pink is insane. <laughs> so pretty. It matches my shirt as well. It's such a stunner. Um, hang on. That's the pink I have. Pinky purple. That's what it looks like. Gold and that pink and the pinky purple is so, so gorgeous. And that's the one I have in the uh, two thirds of my eyelids. That's what I have. And then for the outer V, I have this guy, Midnight Winter. Is this the one? Yeah, I think that's the one. Midnight Winter is very black based color and it has like green. That's the green you see right there. Look at that. And it has purple. So there's green in this. You see that there's a little bit of green grayish green here and then there's also purple and green here so i feel these two shades kind of like mixed really well uh, because no matter which way i turn it's giving me some kind of pink or green look so i really like those two colors that's one i have on today on my eyes but the one the for the valentine's day i actually use the same shade vela and i use this one hyperion so pretty this also has pink and um, kind of green I don't think it has pink sorry it has this green and big and this green kind of matches with this green this gray green in the in the Vela shade and it really 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 looks really beautiful basically the look that I did Valentine's Day was I put this all over my lid and just put this pink in the middle that's it that's that's the look i did to be honest and it looked so pretty and just absolutely romantic but at the same time grungy i loved it i will leave that link down below you can see how i created that look so those are these absolute stunners so let's quickly take a look at so though we saw three products the fourth is actually orange lipsticks i always shied away from orange lipsticks it's either too neon or too brownish red. I mean, brownish red kind of rust shades, they look all right. They don't look scary looking on me, but I always felt they kind of wash me out. But these three orange lipsticks are from Lisa Elridge, and I thought that these three shades were so beautifully formulated. They are rich, they're not neon, they're, they don't look juvenile or anything on the lips, Not that i'm condescendingly <laughs> criticizing other shades but you know shades that don't look good on me basically but these three shades look so amazing that i'm actually um dressing and doing makeup around these shades i'm like i've deprived myself of, of orange lipsticks for so long and i found my perfect shades and i really want to enjoy putting red lipsticks on sorry orange lipsticks on so let me quickly swatch these for you because i love them so much these are the velvet kind of um, matte lipsticks so this is velvet morning this is that true true orange do you see that pigmentation do you see it i will leave the link down below where i did lip swatches of all these shades that way you can see what these look like on my skin tone and how like stunning but still absolutely in like 
pigmented so this is velvet morning then this is strawberry shock strawberry shock is described as like a uh, I don't know, like almost like a watermelon uh, like a is this like a reddish coral shade it kind of looks watermelony right but it's like more it's not like a pink at all it's more coral but i gotta say these kind of look similar but on the lips they look very different i will highly recommend you take a look at that video where i lip swatch them and this is velvet dragon so these are the three um orange tone lipsticks that i got from her and they are just amazing i know why do they look so similar on the lips they look so different you guys this is more of a rusty this is more on the rusty side velvet dragon is more rusty you can see the difference velvet morning was so vibrant in the tube and this guy is like more toned down definitely has more brown this is a more toned down orangey red if that's what you're looking for uh this is like <laughs> in your face it'll just slap people who's looking at you with the color not like you know, literally but the <laughs> it'll just slap them away so that's velvet morning very very vibrant this is like coral red and this guy is like a like a i don't know has a little bit of brown in it and it's definitely toned down so if you want like a toned down red definitely go for velvet dragon but don't get it um wrong they are all pretty vibrant so they're not like muted or like toned down anything anything like that just relatively compared to velvet morning this is like really toned down so finally we are here for the fashion item i, I really want to like take these off before i show you because i don't want uh the lipsticks to get on this this is actually a coat i know we're already drawing towards spring and it's kind of getting warmer maybe i don't know where but here in the bay area it does not seem to be getting any warmer at all i'm like we've had like it feels like the monsoons <laughs> and i'm not in india it feels like it's been raining for four months four or five months constantly and it's pretty cold i'm not gonna lie i'm not used to this kind of cold and chill um this is actually a teddy bear coat from ug and i just like I was just looking for a teddy kind of coat and I was found this I got it on off, off of Amazon just because returns are like very easy uh, Nostrum also you can find I guess I don't know but this I got it off of, on Amazon and then I got I loved it so much I went ahead and I got one from Uggs website itself because they were doing like a really good off almost like 50 or 60 percent off so I got another shade so this is a, a teddy bear coat it's pretty i got i'm usually my regular clothing size is a medium but this guy uh, they said was very big so i got it in a size s it has this huge collar and i have to say it's not very sm this this um this teddy bear material is not like smooth like a faux fur kind of a thing it has a little bit of texture but it's not like rough texture but you can touch and you can say there's like a little bit of texture there but this is kind of squishy. I don't know how to describe it. It's squishy and it's thick and it looks so, so good. I'm 5'2 and this kind of hits me just above the ankles, just above the ankles. So just that's for like a height reference, how long this coat is. I don't want to put this on and knock things over, to be honest, but, uh, and I have makeup, guys. I really don't want to put this on, but this is a stunning, stunning, stunning coat. I've just been surviving this cold here. Uh, well, when I say cold in the daytime, it gets like 51 or 40, 45, something like that. So it's not like freezing cold, but this itself is like very cold for me. And uh, I've just been enjoying snuggling up with this. And my kids also snuggle up whenever I wear this. They want to come inside the coat. I love this. It's such a well-made coat. And... It is quite heavy, I would say. It's not like extremely heavy or anything else. I would say medium weight, mid, me, medium weight. It's not a lightweight coat at all. I love this and I love this texture. I do feel like a teddy bear when I wear this. So yeah, just like, just FYI, it's not like a 
fall for extreme smooth like your, your hand will slip off it's not like that it's it has this texture and feel it's squishy the whole this this fabric is a look squishy and it feels amazing and the lining is so so smooth oh yeah inside you won't feel this texture because the lining is pretty smooth and like your hand just slips through it no problem whatsoever so overall i love this coat so much i thought i might not get a lot of use out of it because i did buy it uh in the beginning of february right or like mid january i'm sorry not beginning of february. mid january got it and i just thought it's gonna get hotter the rain is gonna stop but it's not stopping so yeah so I, I have been getting some use out of it so yeah we have come to the end of this video these are the five things five top favorites for me for the month of february let me know what you think you might try or and also let me know what are your favorites for this month if there's something that you've been using constantly i would love to know what it is let me know down below in the comment section and i will see you guys very soon bye